the van. There's those holes that they put. I don't know why they make the holes. But. There, I just do that. Here's a spare blanket. It's so cute. It's got um, little vans on it. Peace vans. <laughs> Laura got me that. And then I just make the bed. So before I make my bed, I'm going to try to show you how, how it's put in here. So this going to be a little difficult to see. I'll try. Okay, so can't see very well, huh? <sighs> no. That ain't going to work. Let me see. Hold on. Okay, so I have a, what do you call it, bunky board. I have a bunky board, that's what this rail is, and it fits perfectly across with in my van. And I can have it. I can have it up high, which I have had before, but I took it to as low as I could and I just set it on top of the wheel wells. I set it on top of the wheel wells and put um, zip ties all the way across that way. And then there's four boards, four boards holding each corner. And this is a very, very sturdy bunky board. It's made out of titanium metal or I forgot what they call it, but see that? That black you see is my um, Vincillate. And there's the other post, the board, board post. And I keep my outside carpet, in and out carpet. It's not in and out, it's for outside. And I have a bag of clothes right there that need to go in the dirty clothes. And Whoops. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. Okay. Um, that right there are my paper towels. That suitcase has like extra clothing. There's one of my storage step stools or sitting stool then I have my little vacuum back there this are spices hair products and then that's where I'm keeping my porta potty which I'm using at this time it's starting to rain and what I what I do is just see the handle I just slide it out and I'll show you later what I'm gonna do to that because I I don't use the flushing system I just bag it I don't want to use the flushing system I don't want to have to clean out that little cassette down there I don't want to have to do that apparently a lot of uh, RVers or van lifers have complained that they that you really don't get everything out 
I mean, it's not like you can stick your hand in there and scrub the corners. And not, uh, no, I'm not going to do it. Um, this is where I have my propane bottles. I know I lost the cap. It's somewhere in here. It's where I keep my garbage and then my pill case, vitamin case, keeps it snug without it sliding anywhere. And then on the bottom, that's where I keep the horse pellets, the bedding. And my battery's about to run out, so I'm going to plug it in. Yeah, so the battery's about to run out. I had to plug it in. So those I roll these blankets up. This is my electric blanket. I roll it up and I put it right here. If it doesn't help, so be it, but I think it does help. It cuts a breeze from the, from the coldness. And then I roll this one up too and put it at the foot of my bed. And it all depends on where I put my head because of the angle of the van. If it's not level, it depends on where I put my head. Ugh. My curtain fell. Pretty easy to make the bed. So the opening of the comforter, you know the opening part, I always put it at the foot of my bed. And it, like again, I said, it, you know, it doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is where I put my head is how the van is angled. Am I talking right? <laughs> Okay, let's I think with this I got a little more neutral. I know my van's pretty bright all the time. Bright colors. I do, I wanna try I wanna try out neutral colors but like one of one of you all mentioned it looks happy and it is it makes me happy to to use colors <sighs> it's not easy making a bed either in here sizes of blankets just so they'll fit these these are already like for twin size comforters and I always wonder should I put this in or out I think I'm going to, no, no, I just got to make up my mind of what I want in here and what I don't want in here. That's my brain. Okay. As good as it gets. Make it look half 
halfway decent. Another pillow. Where's the other one? Oh. Where'd the other one go? The heck? Where'd it go? Where's my pillow? Seriously? What? Oh my god. I guess I fell back here. Yep. It fell back here. The curtain fell. That's why it fell because this pillow fell. Sorry guys. that Put that that's good enough that'll that'll have to do to do what am I gonna do with these curtains I know I'll probably take them off the rod hmm See how that one fell? No, you can't see. See, that one fell off. Well, let me see what I'm going to do. I'll just put it up for right now. I'll figure something out later. Yes, so I want my pillow. See, now that I have to get over there, now that I have to go over there, I have to take my shoes off, get up on the bed. I don't know. I don't know if this is working out either. <laughs> uh. I don't want to be in your way over here. So. I'm having like a deja vu. Like this has happened before. Hmm. So this goes on a little hook that I have up here. See the hook? Oi, can't see it. It's up here. The hook. I sit it on top of that. And then and then the hook over here. all kinds of magnets and stuff trying to keep it keep it all together then I put a little clip to close it up on top and it doesn't need it but I just think it looks a little bit neater it's not gap maybe I should get a cuter clip I don't know I'm gonna probably end up taking these down I don't know. So yeah, that's how they look right there. <sighs> it's starting to rain more. I like that ring light. Let's 
let's see what else can I show you back here up my system my setup okay okay so beds made curtains are back up beds a little lumpy that makes it for a cozy bed I don't know I think so <laughs> it is cozy mm. Okay, so the bed's made. Phone is plugged in back there. My battery's back there. I'll keep the tissue under the pillow because I, I like to. This lamp, it's a nice lamp, but it takes batteries and it's, it's hard to, to use this for a long time because it does waste the battery fairly quickly but I do have it there for an emergency now should I or shouldn't I take that out nope I'm not going to take it out I like having drawers I love having drawers to put things in if I had drawers, all of this would be out of the way. If I had a top drawer that I could pull out and see everything, I would I would have all of that. All of the things that are along the counter put away in the drawer. So I am going to get something that will work for that. my shoes back on because I'm going in and out I'm going to take the carpet out of here I don't know if I should take the carpet out jeez I will show you something Porta potty. <laughs> Let's talk toilet. Toilet talk. Okay, so this is what I'm using now. I was using the the um the bucket. This is what I'm using now, and it works too. But and I'm not using the water and the flushing system because you put water in right here. Can you see that? So you put water in this, can this op this opens up, and you put water in there, and this is where you flush it, and the water swirls around and goes down into that, into the cassette. 